What is your relationship with poop? I have um, a very close relationship with poop. Well, there's something no one's supposed to talk about, but everybody does it every day. I have a young child in diapers, and I have a aging and aging dog, <laughs> and. Um, and I have a husband who never flushes the toilet. It's something that I do often. Mom says it's disgusting. Dad says it's just wrong. But I think it's funny, so I say. I probably do it all the time. Like right now, I'm squeezing a donkey right now, dude. What is your relationship to poop? I would say abiding. This is a song about duty. It's something we all do. You abide in something, you kind of live in it. It's part of you, it's part of your life. I really love, I really love it when poops are good. It's something we all do. When I have a really good poop where I don't even need toilet paper. There's nothing like it. My father enjoyed his morning poo, you know, that was like one of the great moments of accomplishment in his day. It can color the whole day where I'll feel light on my feet, um, bouncy, good in my body, really great feeling. If I should have what we like to call toothpaste poop, <laughs> so, uh, mainly I would rather not poop at all mm -hmm. than have to deal with that. You know, you're <laughs> aggravated, you really want to get up and get out, but yep. you feel like you can't because, you know, should some more be able to come, you got to give it a chance. I mean, it's just it globs mm -hmm. and sticks, and that's why it's such a wiping problem, because the more you wipe, the more you're sort of drawing a little bit back out of your hole that's not quite finished. <laughs> Part of being the parent, the father, mm -hmm. is I gotta handle things that are gross. That's just my vocation. So anything really gross, I have to, I'm in there. I'm in charge of all the poop in our house, so I don't have any issues with it. It's just, it's the same thing as anything to me. When you're changing a lot of diapers and when you have kids. I'm really over the hump with the poop. There's a new spectrum for gross things in this world. And so there are moments in which you like breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, thank goodness, it's just poo. <laughs> I used to be really uptight. I come from New England. There's a certain privacy thing, like you always shut the door. So I, I come from that culture, actually. But I've had to reconcile it with, you know, having a child. Right. And living with another person. Why do you think our society doesn't talk about poop more? Well, in Canada, we talk about it all the time, man. It's like, what did you do today, dude? Oh, I took a huge dump, man. What'd you do? Oh, I took one too. Mom's bigger than yours. All right, you want to fight? All right, man. See you on the ice. There's a big difference between the scatological, you know, fetishes and the idea of poop as a function of life. In the U.S., we cover up a lot of things that Europeans don't, you know, whether it's sex, whether it's poop. There's a bodily function thing that, that makes people very uncomfortable. Look at all the bathroom, you know, scents and all the sprays to cover up what we are and the smells that we make. We don't, we don't talk about these things because we, we want to kind of have a, a, a sense of authority over our, our bodies, over our lower nature, you know? I mean, classic understandings of the body were um, that things beneath you belong to the earth and things uh, above you belong to heaven and your body stood in between the two. And so your mind could enter heaven but your lower parts could not. You know, I, I study this as an ethicist and a philosopher and a theologian. There's a very famous scene where Martin Luther gets uh, attacked by the devil in his tower and Luther writes, I dispatch the devil mitz item furs, which is <laughs> with my fart. <laughs> and when he first kind of aimed one at the devil, the devil was not to be undone and farted back and they had this war of farts and then finally <laughs> Luther was able to really, really get rid of him. He had like some kind of amazing super fart man moment and just the devil fled. Our birds have the cleanest poop.
People think that what separates us from the animals is an opposable thumb, or a spirit, or a sense of morality, or even manners. I, however, think it's indoor plumbing.